Alright, what's going on, man? Back at it with another one. I know it's been a minute. But uh, check this out. It, it's, I don't know, it, it's crazy that there's no shortage of people out here who just out here making bad decisions and people who just think that they can do whatever they want without penalty. Um, I, know, I know we're all susceptible to, uh, you know, having lapses in judgment sometimes, but I think that with some things, it should be a no brainer. Like in this next situation that I'm about to show you, because I think it's just, I mean, it's, it's dumb. You know, when you really think about it, it's, it's dumb. So let me show you this and then I'm going to just come back with my thoughts about this uh, situation as usual. So let's check it out. Police officer has been arrested, accused of stealing a pair of shoes while on duty. Robin Connor was arrested after officers were called to Dick's Sporting Goods about 1230 this afternoon. She's charged with misdemeanor shoplifting. Police Chief Joseph Daughtry says Connor was wearing her uniform and was on duty when she was taken into custody. Connor was on her second stint with the department. She returned about two years ago. Now she's on administrative leave and this investigation is continuing. We have a job to do. Uh, we're, we're held to a higher standard. And uh, the community is just starting to trust us. And to take this gut punch really hurts. Uh, that's why we fulfilled our obligation, not only uh, to the store, uh, but to this community. And Connor was given an $862 surety bond. A police case. officer accused of stealing a pair of shoes is now without a job. Robin Connor was charged with misdemeanor shoplifting Wednesday. She's taking a pair of shoes, or rather, she's accused of taking a pair of shoes from Dick Sporting Goods without paying for them. Police Chief Joseph Daughtry says Connor was wearing her uniform and was on duty when she was taken into custody. The Columbus City Council met this morning in a special called meeting. In executive session, the council discussed the job performance of a patrol officer. A press release from the city did not specifically identify Connor. However, the release did say it was related to an incident at Dick Sporting Goods Wednesday. Connor was given the opportunity to attend the meeting, but did not. The officer was terminated effective immediately. Oh, um, yeah, she lost her job. She lost her damn job for stealing a $140 pair of shoes while on duty and in uniform. And, and, and then another thing, to, to top that off, um, when she got arrested, they uh, hauled her away in her own patrol car. So, you know, this, I don't know, man, this, I don't know. Well, I mean, one thing, you shouldn't be stealing, but then on top of that, you stealing while, while you at work, while you on, on the job. You know what I'm saying? And um, she, had, she had been on the force before. So this is her second time with the police force. Um, and she's been there for two years after returning. Now, it, it kind of makes me wonder, what else has she been doing, you know, while being a law enforcement officer there for those two years that she returned? And what was the situation before she left the first time? Because, uh, you know, I don't think that this is her first time, you know, pulling something like this, uh, just the first time that she got caught. And, um, I mean, yeah, it, it's a it's a pretty bold and ballsy move. You know, maybe she got away with it before somewhere else. And maybe somebody didn't, you know, maybe somebody was afraid to say anything or they just didn't pay attention because she was in uniform. But when you're in positions like that, uh, just like the police chief was saying, you're held to a, a higher standard. You know, you're going to be held to a higher standard than somebody else who isn't in those positions, especially when you screw up. Um, I remember being in the Army and some soldiers, they got caught up going off post, uh, off post, meaning off off the base. They went down to this local Walmart and, um, you know, they went up in there and they were stealing and they got caught. And the crazy thing about that is that they got caught by a retired veteran who was in there uh, doing a loss prevention job as a part-time gig. Um, and so they were eventually caught. Uh, the local police came and then, you know, the military police got involved and, uh, you know, they ended up being punished for it. And then I also remember um, this happened out in Oklahoma in Fort Seal. Um, there were some uh, soldiers who got caught drug trafficking and they were drug trafficking in their uniforms, but 
But man, I mean, with her situation, I mean, yeah, she should have known better. Um, I mean, it's it's a pair of one hundred forty dollars shoes that, I mean, regardless of how much she was making, because I know some folks was talking about um, the pay down there for police officers being low. You know, I mean, let's be real. I mean, it, regardless of how much she was making, I mean, it's 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 a pair of shoes, right? I mean, even if she was out there blowing all her money from from every paycheck that she got, um, she could afford it, right? You know, because she had a job. But now she's fired. I mean, if you're going to get fired for something, let it be about something that's out of your control. But getting fired for stealing a pair of shoes, I mean, it's silly. And, and she should be embarrassed because now she screwed herself over. And her face has been plastered all over. And um, if she goes out and, and tries to get a job somewhere else in that city, um, you know how they, they uh, ask you those questions about have you ever been terminated or fired from a job? She's going to have to disclose the reason why she was fired or they'll find out through a reference check if they decide to do one. And, and she can't lie about it. You know, and it's not going to be a, a thing where it's hard to find out. I mean, especially with this situation being all over the Internet and all over the news. I mean, she may get lucky and find a place that will hire her, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be extremely hard uh, with this situation being so fresh and new. But she brought this upon herself and she's got to deal with the consequences, even after the dust settles from this situation, uh, because nobody likes a thief. So understand that the decisions that you make can affect other areas of your life because, I mean, when you think about it, she she may not be able to get unemployment benefits uh, because she was fired. And I think in most states, to be eligible for unemployment benefits, you can't be fired for misconduct connected to your job. So make better choices, man. Um, like I said, she brought it on herself. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hey. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.